Look at look at the differences in the hand size, man. Just look at the differences in the hand size between men and female, men, women and men. Average. I'm not talking about six, seven dudes. I'm talking about a regular five, ten guy. Or five eleven guy versus an average size female to play against women. And the reason I'm focusing on the hands is because the women play with a smaller ball. They play with a small ball. They play with a little teeny little ball. It's not it's it's, it's not teeny, but it's small. And I can palm a male basketball, right? I can palm a male basketball. Just grab it like this and pick it up. I can just grab a male basketball and pick it up and do all this shit with it. Yada, yada, yada. A female basketball, man. I be out there dunking like... <laughs> I be Jordan with a female basketball in my playing days, man. In my playing days. Be like Vince Carter out there, motherfucker. Man, some of them big girls got some big hands, too. Nah. Listen, They're not dudes, man. man. They're not dudes, man. Their hands, totally ain't, their hands are big for females. Exactly. But they not big yeah, as yeah. for a man. Like, for instance, say this girl is Lisa Leslie, right? And this is like this dude is like Giannis, right? Lisa is a big girl. She, you know what I'm saying? She one of the biggest girls, right? And Giannis, he a big guy. It still ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's still like, yeah, her hands is big for a girl, but they ain't big for a guy. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Like for instance, you never had a girl where her hand, like, I hope not. Cause you might have got to do something else. To talk about. <laughs> hey, if, if you had a girl with, with listen, if, if you if you had a girl with hands your size, man, we got we got another conversation we gotta have. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's another conversation we need to have, man. Cause um, yeah, man, listen, man, and I'm not talking about big people. We're talking about average. Average, now this probably is a huge guy right here, but the average woman, man, women, you don't even most women when I meet greet them, I hug them. I don't be shaking women's hand. I give women hugs because shaking a woman's hand just feel funny, man. Yeah, right. It feel weird because you, you know what I'm saying? Your hands is their hands is so frail and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> their hands is frail. They like they got little they got little kid hands, man. But but my thing is why why did she front like just just have some balls and say nah, right? Especially <laughs> because you're a gatekeeper. You're 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 I'm these players' mom. I'm like a second mom to them. You a second mom to them? Were you like the type of mom that a fucking let a goddamn predator into the home and shit. <laughs> you the type of mom that'll let safe. you you know what I'm saying? Fuck you that being safe mom. shit, man. You no, know, that's how I feel. Fuck being safe, but you know, you know how they be playing. Yeah. Facts. Dawn selling her soul like that, man. You 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 selling she never had she had a great career. I watched her whole career at Virginia. I saw a lot of them games when she was at Virginia because they came on um, TV and shit in D.C. area and shit, right? She was cold, man. I'm talking about she was hard. Shorty was like that. Yeah, she was a good point guard. She was. She was yeah. like that, man. She was player of the year two years in a row in the whole country. National player of the year. But Against men, against who was out then? Um, against Larry Johnson and shit, and Chris Webber <laughs> and motherfucking the Fab Five and shit. UNLV, man, she would. <laughs> yeah, 
Yo, it'll be rough, Jack. Grandma would have, grandma mom would have <laughs> dunked on her eyes. <laughs> it would have been rough, man. Um, so also another thing is grip strength. So grip strength, man. Um, they measure it in newtons. That's the that's the that's the um measurement they measure grip strength in. Grip strength. A man's maximum grip strength is around 541 newtons, and a woman's maximum grip strength is 329 newtons. Listen, that that's important when you're playing sports grip strength. Like how much can you squeeze with your hands? Women cannot grip the, the the strongest woman has a lower grip strength than the strongest man i mean than the weak than the at an average man the strongest woman has less grip strength than the, the the average man i'm talking about like just some beta soy boy low testosterone can out grip a woman the strongest woman. So you talking about athletics, that's important. Grip strength, man. Because you're grabbing the ball, you're grabbing the bat, you're grabbing the person, whatever sport you're playing. You know what I mean? Salute to, um, salute to Don Wrinkles, man. He says, $5 challenge defeated. Thanks for all you do, Chief. Ock, the panel, the mods, stay safe. It's a jungle out there. Yeah, man. Hi, two high school track stars who took first and second place at the Connecticut State Championships now finding themselves at the center of a controversy. Both young women are transgender and competed on the girls' team. That's not sitting well with some parents and student athletes, though. They've started a petition to change a rule. News 8's Amy Hudak live in News 8 Control with reaction to this story tonight. Amy tonight amy the connecticut interscholastic athletic conference the ciac says that athletes can choose to compete for the sport in which they gender identify with but some are saying this creates an unfair advantage especially when it comes to athletics i had like these pink and purple furry boots i wore andrea yearwood says even as a child she identified as a girl going to like i guess deal with it and i guess grow tougher skin yearwood is a sophomore at cromwell high school Born a boy, she's now transitioning and runs track and field on the girls' team. She and Bulkley High School sophomore Terry Miller swept the competition at the girls' track and field state championships last week. Miller. They swept this shit, man. Just think about it, man. They want everything. <laughs> they, want, they want everything. Who he look like? He look like somebody. God damn who he look like. Oh, he look like Lil Yachty, Lil Yachty or somebody. Somebody look like, I don't know. <laughs> One of those actors. They, but they won everything. Think about it. They won every event. Think about that. How crazy that is. If you're sitting in the stands, you one of the girl's parents. You've been driving her back and forth to track practice all her life. Little kid through her teenage years, now she in high school, and y'all trying to, like, you know, get a scholarship or win the state championship, and here come this motherfucker, and he wins every single event. <laughs> you just got to sit there and act like, this is normal. <laughs> this is perfectly normal. And I guess grow tougher skin. Yearwood is a sophomore at Cromwell High School. Born a boy, she's now transitioning and runs track and field on the girls' team. She and Bulkley High School sophomore Terry Miller swept the competition at the girls' track and field state championships last week. Miller is also transgender. Some parents and athletes say the first and second place finishers have an unfair advantage, and they want a level playing field. The Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Committee says their policy Look is... Look at these white, white people. Y'all too nice, man. Y'all too nice, man. Y'all, y'all let this nigga come up here and just, 
And then I talk about race. And here's the thing. The first thing that don't go was, well, I don't give a fuck if a white person cut their eyes at him, if um, he crossed in the street and a motherfucking car honked the horn at him. If anything in this town go wrong for him, he's going to cry racism and brand all of y'all racist. Yep. <laughs> and tra- transphobes. It's crazy because I coach I coach baseball during the season and I check out the kids in the high school. They got this shit going on in Jersey too. Like yeah, they got this boy. Yeah, and this boy's pitching like cannons to, to girls. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this shit is wow. Think about if you got twice as much grips. If the think about if the average man not an athlete, an average guy has more grip strength than the strongest woman on the planet. How many of them women on the high school football softball team are the strongest woman on the planet? None of them. Yeah, this is sick. So, and just say, and let's just say this guy's above average because he's an athlete. He got probably twice as much grip strength so he can grip that ball and then not uh, we ain't even talking about height arm length we just talking about hands because in basketball the girls play with a smaller ball because their hands is little that motherfucker look like he could play running back start running back for the high school team that nigga couldn't play back back. That that nigga couldn't get on the field for the start of exactly. the football team. And exactly. He's still dominating them. That nigga wouldn't touch, that nigga wouldn't go, couldn't stand on the sidelines of a football field. Now violent the football. He see that shit moving, them niggas running and hitting each other. He'd be like, oh, that ain't for me. But he'll do- and he that dude could dominate girls and trap. A bunch of white girls. Oh, yeah. The Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Committee says their policy is that student athletes can compete for the gender specific sport they identify with. That's directly in alignment with state law. But two petitions are now circulating one in Plainville, the other in Glastonbury, to change that rule. You have certain people that believe that, you know, men are stronger and, and faster. And so I can. Certain people that believe that. It's a scientific fact. He said, believe. This is the shit that people, if you ain't going to check the whole, if you ain't going to say, hey, man, they shouldn't play, you got to check this shit. You can't let this shit go by. You can't just sit there and say, it's a belief that men are stronger. Come on, man. I can understand that if an athlete is, is born male that and then competing as as female with what they identify with that some females will feel a particular type of way about it some say reversing the rule would be gender discrimination I identify herself as a girl then i think she should be able to run in the race because she's used to ladies room she can wear skirts why not running she can this wear skirts. skirts this shit is cuckoo yo this shit is got- insane <laughs> And sisters, because sisters, 97% of them is Democrats, you ain't going to find a sister that ain't down with this shit. Good luck finding one. Right, they get My, wife hand makeup down by My wife is down with this shit. Why? Like, about, why? We argue about that you know. shit all the time. We argue about that shit all the time because we got a daughter. Yeah, it's not fair to your daughter, I. So what's her reasoning though? Like, what is what is her argument? It's brainwashed. People saying she get mad. She the same shit these people saying because they identify as a woman. You're a woman. If you say you're a woman, then you're a woman. Stupid shit. Not even it ain't no deep fucking wow answering shit, man. <laughs> Just the but, same check the, <laughs> but check this out, Ock. The way they say that, right? But as soon as you say, what about transracial? They already on it, like oh no no, I don't I don't believe in the transracial. Yeah. That's yeah, the problem I hate. 
Listen, man, the other week, man, I came in the room, man. I was mad as shit. We was arguing. I picked up a, a, a paper towel. I had a paper towel in my hand. I threw that shit on the ground. My wife's like, I'm calling the cops. You in here acting crazy. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I so so I could throw a paper towel on the ground. And you, you get scared and walk on the police. But ain't no difference between a man and a woman. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, these people, they crazy. They know, they know. Trust me, they know. And I think she should be able to run in the race because she's used the ladies' room. She can wear skirts. Why not run and play sports and stay active? The cream rises to the top. <laughs> no matter if you're a boy or girl. Correct. You know, there are plenty of athletes. Yo, somebody should come up and sneak this thing. One of them dudes punching the women in New York should just come up and sneak this thing. Boom, right on his chin, man. Yeah, he's zesty. Zesty as I can tell you, you know, if you were to put the UConn women on the court with the UConn men, the UConn men actually might lose. The CIA. <laughs> he's lying. Wow. What? He's lying. I gamble. Ah, UConn has covered almost every game in the tournament except for one. He's lying. Let me tell you something, man. Let me just tell you this. If you put the team that finished last in the intramural league at UConn, because you know college has got an intramural basketball um, leagues and shit, right, just for the students. Yep. The team that finished last in that intramural league could beat the UConn women. Listen, man. It, it, do you know that these women's basketball teams, they practice against men during the week? Yep. That's how they – yeah, they, they practice against the intramural teams so that when they go up against girls, it's just – you know what I'm saying? It's, it's no competition. So they practice against men, and they get their asses kicked during the week play, playing against men, but it makes them tougher. They don't practice against the, the men's team. They practice against the intramural teams at the school. The just the hoopers that hoop, just the the regular hoopers. Listen, man, it's it, I'm trying to tell you, man. You just don't understand, man. The quickness of a guy, the quickness compared to a woman. Ballers, you ain't. You know your local gym, your local run at your local neighborhood. A girl can't go out there and play with them niggas, man. It's too, it's too physical, man. How she going to get touch the ball? How she going to get a rebound? If they play her hard. Now, if they go easy on her, yeah, but I'm talking about playing fucking balls to the wall. No way, man men actually might lose. The CIAC is saying they are listening and empathize, but this is an extremely complex legal issue with multiple layers. Yearwood, grateful for the opportunity to be exactly who she says she's always been. Extremely grateful. Can Let I me just story? give you an example, right? Like, when I played, I could stand under the basket without taking a step, jump up and dunk the ball, right? There's not one woman in all of college basketball that could do that. And I was an average player. Not yet. There's not one woman, even with the female ball, that can just stand under the basket, jump up and dunk the ball without taking a step. It's none that could do it with taking a step. It's none that could run from the fucking foul line and do that shit. With a male ball. It's none that really they can do it with a female ball. Maybe one or two in the whole fucking country. And then they gotta take them like 50 tries to do it to get to do it once. And it was several guys on our team that could just grab the ball, jump up, and dunk it. And that wasn't seen as something like spectacular or something like that. 
now to oh. a GMA exclusive, two transgender high school runners, well, they're kicking up dust in Connecticut, taking the top spots at the state girls' championship, leaving parents wondering if they have an unfair advantage. Lindsay Davis is here, and you sat down with the track star to talk all about this. That's right, Michael. We're talking about a subject that's so sensitive that Andrea and Terry... Why is this sensitive? <laughs> Michael right. Stram. Michael Strahan's a bitch because he know he's a football player. <laughs> right. He know that shit ain't right. He knows this shit ain't right. Yeah, he know goddamn knows well. Yeah, I mean, like he know goddamn well it ain't a woman on this planet can kick his ass. He he, it ain't one woman on the planet. Yeah, Mike was nice back in the day. That's right, Michael. We're talking about a subject that's so sensitive that Andrea and Terry, who you're about to meet, felt when it was time to tell their parents that they're transgender, they each revealed it by text, and now they have gone public with it, and they're facing opposition from people who say, even though you may feel like a girl, you need to compete against the boys. Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood dominating the competition in the Girls Track and Field uh, Championships in Connecticut earlier this month. You know why they showing it from this angle? Because if they show it from the side angle, yo, I got pictures of them doing that shit from the side angle. It's crazy. The white girls ain't even in the screen. They ain't even Damn. in the screen. But they showing it from this angle so you can't really tell. The white girls is getting smoked. Coming in first and second place, respectively. And while it was a state race, their wins are making national headlines. Not because of what they did, but because of who they are. Two transgender girls. When was the first time that either of you found any kind of opposition to you participating on the girls' team? I was expecting it. So every day I'll go home, search up track and field high school, Terry Miller. Because you wanted to know what people were saying. Yeah. Some of those comments were harsh. Critics complaining that Andrea and Terry both have an unfair advantage since they were born boys. At what point do you decide, actually, it's more appropriate for me to be on the girls' team and competing with other girls? I decided that the summer before ninth grade. They've both started hormone therapy and say that for the most part, they've been welcomed by friends, family, coaches, and administrators with open arms. But there is some backlash from parents and students. Think the about that. They've been welcomed by everybody with open arms. And they're still bitching. That should let you know what, like, how crazy these people are. They're not up here like, I want to, first off, I want to thank all the parents and all the administrators that have accepted us with open arms. No, they're bitching about the few people, the few brave people that have something to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> These people are nuts, yo. I, I will never have my daughter race there. I'll just be like, nope, you're not racing. I just, I why wouldn't do trans, it. Why don't trans have like their own little nah man there. fuck that that, man. that makes I, that makes too much sense nah man fuck all that because here's the thing it ain't enough for them to have a their own little league man hmm. they're, they're only like 0.05 percent of the population we acting like they like 13 percent of the population that ain't <laughs> enough for them they a little small group controlling all it, having all this power, man. Jeez. They're a little small group, man. They're not a big, they're not a big group, man. This is a small group. And they and they and they dominating every like the um social, everybody has to bow down to this small group. This is a small group of people, man. This is not a big group. When the last time you seen a transgender in the streets? T tell me when. Oof. I mean, I did see one in Colombia. I was surprised. So I just came back two days ago. I saw one there. But that's the influence of the United States. So I can't count that. Earlier today, saw two of them on the L in Philly. Jesus. 
I haven't seen one that, in a long, long, long time. And I hope I don't see one on Friday because I'm going to DC, uh, Ock. So oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to that, that area. <laughs> I'm going to watch the game though. So I'm watching the game. Yeah, it's just, it's just, man. Listen, they rarely, you rarely see them. They're not everywhere. Okay. They're, yeah, put it like this: we're not, we're not going out to looking for them. So. You know, we don't care. You know, you know, but you know, like like when you're on a fucking train or you're walking down the street downtown and you see a fucking tranny, you're going to know it's a tranny. When the last time you seen one? Not in the train, no. It's hard I to saw one in the ever... train the other day. That shit's fucking disgusting. Yeah, but they're <laughs> rare. They're rare. They have too much power for how rare they are. You see them. Petitions were even started in an attempt to change the current rule of the state's governing body of interscholastic sports. The rule states that students are entitled to participate on a team based on their gender identity, how they identify. The girls athletes are at the physical disadvantage compared to the transgender female. Bianca Stanescu started one of those petitions after her daughter Selena lost to Andrea and Terry at a track meet in May. They have naturally testosterone within their body that has been proven to give. But it's, they got to stop saying that. It's not just that. Their feet are bigger. Their legs are strong. Everything is, it's not just testosterone. Their arms are longer. They can stride more because they're fucking, they're fast twitch muscles. Their feet, the surface area of their feet being bigger makes them able to run faster. Their shoulders being stronger helps them be able to move their arms faster. Their thighs, everything. It's every yeah. single thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the genetic code. It's not just one hormone. Exactly. That's what I was about your, to say. Your, your whole brain is trying to become something. Your whole body is trying to become something based on your genetic code. Like, yeah, it's 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 all of, they try to make it seem like if it's this one thing, testosterone. Nah, it's your blood. Your blood is different. Your cells, everything. A physical mm. advantage in sports. The mom, who was unaware that the girls were already undergoing hormone therapy, has gotten a little over 100 signatures. Medical science tells us that estrogen hormone therapy does change the body, replacing some lean muscle with fat. But of course, everyone Does it different. make your feet smaller? Does it make your hands smaller? Does it make your, your legs lo less long? Does it, does it make your bones shrink? Does it make your bone density? Because here's the thing. This is another thing, too. Bone density. So when you bump up, like, like say a girl was trying to go for a rebound, and I box her out the same strength I box out a man, that girl going to get hurt, man. That girl going to get hurt. Whereas a man, it will just be a regular box out, and we'll run back down the court. If I do a girl like that, that girl going to get hurt. Yeah. different. Andrea's parents say what's most important to them is the well-being of their child. Track is number 100 on my list of concerns as a father of a transgender daughter. I'm talking about raising a child for a life. Look at these quacks, man. Sit, think about this. I want y'all to sit, think about it. They sitting back in this all-white town watching in the stands as their fucking sons dominate these white girls. And they don't have a fucking shred of remorse or reflection or anything about it, what it's doing to the girls. They're just perfectly 100% calm. And they're worried about what these white people might say to what two or three brave white people in the town are saying about against it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's funny because all the parents that are like, well, I don't really care about this. It's like, yeah, that's because your daughter's a loser. She's not number two. She's number 42. And you don't care. <laughs> you know, that's the only reason they don't care. And that's the only that's the only issue with these sports things. 
Only the, the only people that care are the ones that are going to get replaced. Except the conservatives. Yeah, I, I felt as a dad if that happened to me. Uh, I just feel that way. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's... Yeah. To get it's on the news up. and complain, though, to be on the news bitching and moaning, yo, your daughters are like literally, they win every single event. Everybody at the school is supporting them 100%. Some person, this one mother is like, yo, um, I'm, I'm not with this shit. And Good Morning America came to your town because this woman wasn't with the shit. <laughs> That's privilege. That's what I'm telling you. That's why people don't. That's why people don't talk out against the narrative, man. Because that's what fucking happens to your ass. We were talking about that yesterday. Why don't white people say? Because they come to your fucking town. Uh, put your ass on camera. I could get on camera if I wanted to tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's how much power you kind of have as a fucking white person because they're so obsessed with what you fucking say. <laughs> All you got to do is go somewhere, call somebody the fucking N-word, and the media will send somebody. This guy called a fucking guy. He went to a, he went into a somebody black said, church. Somebody said, come on, Ark, is this a race issue? This is an all-white town. These black people not only have been accepted. Look at her with her little African fucking shit on her head. These black people not only have been accepted in the town, but their sons are dominating these white people's daughters in sports. And It's a new angle of, of rep reparations. People, and all of the white people are with it, supporting it. A few brave white people like this woman have spoken out against it, and now it's a fucking Michael Strahan and shit and everybody in your fucking town. Yeah, well, like, what are the other people? The problem is, what are the other it's people? It's a one hundred percent race issue in this case. Right. right. In this case, this is a race issue. Imagine a black town. Imagine fucking Harlem or fucking um, a neighborhood in Baltimore or some shit or fucking Jackson, Mississippi and some white fucking family moves in and their fucking son is on a fucking track team dominating the little black girls winning every fucking event. You talking about son? this ain't no race issue. Man, somebody time that nigga out who said that shit, man. <laughs> Just time them out, man. Just time them out, man. Just time them out, man. Who gonna who, who gonna who gonna have the honors, man? The time of that nigga out, man. Yeah. What you talking about? Are at the physical disadvantage compared to the transgender female. Bianca Stanescu started one of those petitions after her daughter Selena lost to Andrea and Terry at a track meet in May. They have naturally testosterone within their body that has been proven to give a physical advantage in sports. The mom, who was unaware that the girls were already undergoing hormone therapy, has gotten a little over 100 signatures. Medical science tells us that estrogen hormone therapy does change the body, replacing some lean muscle with fat. But of course, everyone is different. Andrea's parents say what's most important to them is the well-being of their child. Track is number 100 on my list of concerns as a father of a transgender daughter. I'm talking about raising a child for a life. And so is it fair that that child is excluded? Is it fair that that child doesn't feel like they have a place to belong? It allows her to be who she wants to be, and I think that has a little bit more weight than just winning a medal. The rules vary from state to state. In seven states, including Texas, students must play on the team that matches their birth certificate or have undergone surgery or have had extended hormone therapy, while the NCAA requires the completion of one year of testosterone suppression. Medical research cannot really identify the line where a competitive advantage might exist for trans athletes of either gender. What do you want to say to other transgender 
youth, young people, teens who are out there really struggling through this process. Just follow your heart. Like, don't let other people determine what you do in life. Let's just play devil's advocate. Follow your heart. Don't let other people determine what you're doing. Look how sick he looks when he's saying it. He has no compassion for the girls. None. He's not like, yeah, I understand how girls could be upset about this. And I really feel bad that, you know, um, I see it from their side. It's a real complex issue, but I'm still going to run. He's like, man, fuck that shit, man. I think, I I think, yeah, I think this is the interview where he tells him that the girls got to get better or some shit. I think that's the next thing he says to her. Follow your that's cool. Don't let other people determine what you so. do in life. Let's just different. play devil's advocate for a moment and just imagine that you were both born girls and then all of a sudden you had uh, two boys who identified as being girls and they said, hey, we're going to be on your team and maybe now you're not performing as well because they are better. I'm not going to discourage you or try to say, oh, it's not fair. And it was just pushed me to run faster. I'd be happy for them because they get to do what they want. They're happy, so then that should in turn make me happy. And they're brave. They're, <laughs> they're lying. They have no compassion. These are, these are, this is the sloped forehead, underdeveloped prefrontal cortex of these crazy nut-ass fucking people, man. They don't Why? have any fucking compassion. Why can't these people get punched like sucker punch, like, <laughs> Why can't they get sucker punch? I mean, they're pretty scary looking. I wouldn't want to fuck with them. Like, man, man he's a little that. teeny little guy, man. man he's these guys are like, like five, seven, five, eight. These are little teeny guys. These are not, these aren't even like track size boys. Like, you are the track team, the track team, they like five, eleven, six feet, six, one, six, two. These are little teeny guys dominating these girls, man. <laughs> yeah, the hey, Rutgers basketball fair. team looks more manly than them. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> nappy ass hoes. Fucking some nappy ass hoes, man. Jay Z was on that team dressed in drag, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> and it was just pushed me to run faster. I'd be happy for them because they get to do what they want. They're happy, so then that should in turn make me happy. And they're brave. They're just different exactly. from everybody. The, the stride is manly looking. And just to be clear, the mother who started the petition says that she would like to see the girl sit out for a year after hormone therapy before competing with other girls. So even the woman who has a problem just wants them to sit out for a 